You know, one thing you should understand about a narcissist is that they will never, ever be different. No matter what you do, they will never change. They can't change. You see, there is no cure for narcissism. So many people, used to be myself included, right, believe that they can make a difference in the narcissist's life. If they can love them enough, forgive them enough, care about them enough, sacrifice enough, obey enough, that one day the narcissist will wake up and appreciate all that their significant other is doing or has done. That never happens. The more you give, the more they take. The boundaries keep getting pushed until there are no boundaries left for you. The only person who changes is you. You become anxious, fearful, frustrated, ashamed, humiliated, guilty even, angry, depressed, lots of times physically ill, mentally destroyed, spiritually depleted, financially disabled. And the thing about you is you anymore. You feel like a worthless, disposable, unattractive person who barely enough, who has barely enough strength to escape. And when the narcissist does not, you know, does the unimaginable, they leave you for someone else. After they've done all these things to you, right? They finally do the unimaginable. They leave you for someone else. At the lowest point in your humanity, they walk away without even a thought of what you're going through. They don't care. They walk away from you, straight into the arms of another person, and treat you, right, as if you were the most horrible, terrible, unattractive, ungrateful, uncaring person who ever lived. You see, the thing is, they treat you the way they actually deserve to be treated. And there is absolutely nothing you can do about it except scrape up all the shattered pieces, put yourself back together, and try to move on. Finally accepting that the entire relationship was just a huge waste of your life, your money, and your time. This is what a lot of people don't understand about narcissists. This is how they move you guys. This is what they will do to you. This is exactly who you're dealing with. Someone who operates like this. Because they believe that they are superior to everyone. Make that make sense. But they're the ones who are very fragile souls. Y'all, sometimes I just have to sit down and take a moment of silence thinking about what kind of things these individual, these individuals do. There is nothing that you can do about what they do to you. You will end up ill and close to death if you continue to deal with this type of evil. Once you start seeing what you see, this will answer all your questions. And people seem to think this is not serious. But when you see what's behind the mask, when you see what's really inside, it's not a joke. This is what you need to know about narcissists. See, narcissists are all about self-preservation. And for them, and the destruction of others. You see, at the end of the day, we don't need to analyze or understand their every move. Just know that in their minds, the end always justifies the means. They will do what they can to stay on top and in control. How you feel or how you end up at the end of it is no concern to them at all. You see, once we accept that only then, right, we can appreciate the importance of keeping our distance and not allowing them back into our lives. We have to accept what it is, you guys. 
straight like that. You just have to accept it because this is what it is. This is how they roll. And like I always tell y'all, they don't ever want you to know the truth. Not until the end. Because what you see is what was there the whole entire time. You think they're going to tell you, you know, as long as you go along with all my ideas and all my plans, and as long as you listen to everything and do what I say do, and we're going to have one-sided conversations and do as I say, not as I do, and you think they're going to tell you these things? You think they're going to tell you that our contract will work out nicely? I like to play the role of a nice person. But I have no goodness in me at all. It's all about me. Me, me, me. My favorite subject is to talk about me. I'm selfish. I'm self-centered. I'm arrogant. I'm proud. I'm unfaithful. I'm unloyal. I'm a total gossip. I'm hypocritical. I'm vengeful. I'm domineering. You think they want to tell you that? They won't. You think they're going to tell you that I'm controlling. I'm extremely manipulative. I'm a pathological liar. I'm extremely insecure. And I'm self-loathing. All those negative character traits are a result of never maturing. This is what you're getting involved with. You think they're going to tell you that? Absolutely not. You think they're going to tell you, I'm never able to take responsibility for anything because I'm emotionally stunted. I'm an infant wrapped in adult skin. I'm going to be superior to you, and you're going to know it. This is my role in your life. I have a very warped way of thinking. I'm never able to love you or experience any level of intimacy with you. Because, well, let me see. Because I can't give you what I don't have. You think they're going to tell you that? You think they're going to tell you, I've never received the love that I needed to become a healthy child and grow into a healthy adult. Instead, all I can do in that department is pretend to give you what I think looks like it, at least for a little while. You think they're going to tell you, I'm an Oscar-worthy performer at my best. I have no idea how to be in a healthy, mutual, loving relationship due to my infantile lack of emotional intelligence. You think they're going to tell you that? You think they're going to tell you, oh, and by the way, don't try to help me because guess what? I don't think I need to change myself. I don't think I, I need to change anything about myself. I don't change. I'm doomed to keep repeating my own version of insanity through my ingrained thought process and behavior patterns, which, you know, it keeps me producing the same painful and problematic results, more carnage and wrecked relationships. You think they're going to tell you that? You think the narcissist is going to tell you? Okay? I would love to hook you, right, into my web of deceit, so I can take as much from you as possible without giving you anything in return. I'll think about you, you know, I'll wait, I'll think about this a lot and clue you in sometimes to keep you off balance, right? And elicit a reaction from you. You think they're going to tell you that? You think they're going to tell you? I really think that you're stupid compared to me. And I'll remind you of this often, both in overt and covert ways. They're never going to tell you that. You think they're going to let you know? I'm never going to tell you the truth. I may tell you half-truths, but you're never going to get the actual truth. I simply believe my own lies. And of course I'll talk and talk and talk about me the whole time. Did I mention how I love talking about me and my pathetic life? And if you don't adore me, right, and give me attention constantly, I'll cut you off and talk over you about me. And I just may, just may withhold affection and sex and whatever I know you want so I can punish you for not doing what I want you to do. I'm going to have other people on the side for when you don't give me what I want or when I get bored. Because it's going to be all your fault. Don't forget that. Your fault, 
not mine, never mine, only yours, always yours. Everything I do is your fault. When something is perceived by you as wrong, I actually don't do anything wrong. So everything is your fault, period. They're never going to tell you that. Y'all, you can't make this stuff up. They won't tell you that they're absolutely terrified of rejection and how their words salad you to death. And how your life won't be your own anymore because they have control over everything. And I mean everything. That includes everything you say and what you do, who you hang out with, who you talk to, what you think, everything. They'll never tell you that they'll manipulate you in ways that you never imagined. And that they will do any and everything to dominate you completely. They won't say these things to you. You guys, this is what happens when you're dealing with the narcissist. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's not even the half, y'all. I need for y'all to understand how serious it is dealing with these individuals. That's just, y'all, that's just the tip of the iceberg. That isn't even the half of what makes them so detrimental to your whole existence. That's just the tip, y'all. It gets so much worse. It goes so much deeper than that. I'll make a part two to this because I want y'all to understand the things that they work so hard to conceal from you. What keeps people so strained and stagnated for so long? The things that they hide that they don't want you to know. The things that people find out long after the narcissist has them hooked in. We're going to talk about it. Y'all, you can't make it up. But that's just some things I wanted you guys to know about a narcissist. Because these are things the narcissist just won't tell you. You guys, that's it for this video. I want you to think about it. Who, y'all, who has time for that. Life is too short as it is. To be dealing with narcissists. You guys, that's it for this video. Okay? That is it for this video. Until next time.